Hello everyone, welcome back to the Learning Resources YouTube channel. I'm Sabrina and I'm so happy you're here. Today, I'm talking to all you parents out there, especially in terms of math. Kids can learn math without even realizing it. Yep, you don't believe me? Well, we'll show you in today's video. Parents, we know that it may seem a little bit daunting to teach your child early math skills. Don't think of math as just flashcards and worksheets. It's more than that. It's in our everyday lives. We're surrounded by it too and we don't even realize it. Think about it. You see numbers everywhere. You see patterns. You see shapes. That's why it's important to make sure that you implement these skills into your child's life as soon as possible. Let's get into some fun ways to learn fundamental math skills. The first idea is to point out numbers in everyday life. You can play number games whether you're at home or on the go. Go on a number hunt the next time you're out with your child. For example, if you're in the car, have them call out numbers that they see on a license plate. Now, if your child is someone who loves toys, this is a Smart Scoops math activity set. Cause it's super duper cute. It comes in this little ice cream tub with an ice cream scooper to make it really on theme. It comes with these color coded bowls as well. These cute little cones. You can ask them to either have them scoop out however many green scoops of ice cream you want. For instance, I could say I want three scoops. Scoop out one. Put it in there's one here's two and here's three a little spinner that they can do other activities with as well as some cards that they can use to for different activities that come with this set another idea is to practice counting objects together you can do this in multiple different ways you can do this by counting the steps you're taking on a walk if it's snack time you can have your child actually count how many pieces of their snack are going in their bowl or they can just simply count objects that they have in games for example, this is our Sorting Surprise Pirate Treasure Game. Not only is it super cute, if you have someone who loves pirates, they're going to love this toy. You get five different treasure chests. I'm gonna pick up the number two here. And in each treasure chest, you get one object, like one surprise object that they can open up and see. You get a key that also comes with it in order to actually open the treasure chest and get that surprise out. Each treasure chest also comes with corresponding colored coins. Now, here's a game that you could do. You could have your child count the colored coins and find the matching amount to the number on the correct treasure chest. Super fun, I know. Our third idea is to introduce addition. At around the age of five, children are usually ready to start learning addition skills. The key here is to keep it super simple and relatable to them. For instance, you can do one where you say, if you have two teddy bears and I give you one extra one, how many teddy bears do you have now? And the correct answer is obviously three, but it makes them think about it. You can even use visuals to do that. You can do some visuals with another toy. Rye out our counting cookies. These are super cute, but they're a great way to teach numbers. You can even teach them addition and subtraction with them as well. Look at the cookies over here. You can see that each cookie has a different amount of chocolate chips on them. On this one, we have five chocolate chips. You can have your child count out the number of chocolate chips on the cookie, and then you can flip it over and show them the number. And if you want to teach addition and subtraction, you can lay these out and actually have a visual for them to see. This is five. This has four chocolate chips. Now count all the chocolate chips together on both cookies. It equals nine. Lastly, you should teach them about shapes. Being able to recognize and name shapes is going to help them with improving their spatial awareness. Now to do this, you can have them point out shapes that are around them. I mean, like I said before, shapes are everywhere around us. Or if you wanna use a toy, you should try out our math link cubes. Now, this is something that a lot of people would not think to teach shapes with, but this is a very multi-use product right here. Not only can you practice counting with it and grouping, but you can practice shape identification. All the math cubes have different shapes on each of them on each side. For example, you could ask your child to put all the purple triangle blocks in one group, the green square blocks in another, and so on and so forth. Mathematics is more than just a subject, it's part of our everyday life. When you make math fun and relatable and even natural, it'll help your child build strong basic math skills. Get creative with numbers, get creative with counting, and just in general, get creative with daily math activities. Like I said, it doesn't just have to be flashcards and worksheets. We hope this video was super helpful for you, and let's make math an adventure your child will love. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever we post. Tap the thumbs up icon if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more parenting tips like this from us. And leave a comment with any other tips that you may have to share with other parents or an activity that you saw in here that you are going to be doing with your child. We'll see you in our next video. Bye!